Congratulations. We have all graduated from UW with honors. That is an incredible achievement. Through an interdisciplinary curriculum, honors promotes expansive, innovative thinking and conscious global citizenship. We have completed a truly global education. Honors challenges students. Addressing complexities of difference and diversity is not an easy undertaking, but it fosters growth and critical thinking. And we did all of this together. Oftentimes we discuss college graduation as a personal achievement, which it is to a certain extent, but none of us would be here today without the support of loved ones, mentors, and peers. My first friends at UW were from honors. I attended admitted students day filled with freshman concerns like how to navigate Canvas, what is Canvas, and the potential threat of four years of isolation. Then three honors students joined me. We all realized that we were in the program, so we decided to spend the rest of the event together. It was a relief, but more importantly, a start of a new beginning. Community sustains us. Our community members push us to try new things and comfort us when we fall, but we must also sustain our community and communities across the globe. COVID has proven that our world and humanity is interconnected. We do not live in isolation, so show up. Show up for Black lives, for Palestinian lives, for justice everywhere. We're graduating into a rapidly shifting global order, but we are doing so with tools and a background in collaboration. As we look towards our futures, I do so with hope. While times are challenging, I am excited. I cannot wait to see how all of you use your tools and interdisciplinary lens to build a better future for communities and the world at large. And I'm overjoyed that we will be doing this work together. So congratulations, class of 2021. Congratulations, class of 2021. While we may be graduating and heading out into the world, our learning is not over. No matter where we go or what we do, we have a commitment. A commitment to learn from the community around us and, in our own unique ways, create positive change wherever we go. While community is usually based on location, a year of Zoom University has proven that community can be built through common attitudes and a common goal. As graduates of the Honors Program, we have experienced the power of our own community. In our close-in classes, we critically analyze situations, not just from a STEM view or humanities view, but from their intersection, to find the best possible solutions. Yet, our most powerful learning came from the diversity of our community. As I reflect on my time in Honors, the reason it was so special was each and every one of you. I got the opportunity to learn from world-class social science professors to renowned biologists. Furthermore, I had the opportunity to sit next to future doctors and authors, chat with future lawyers and teachers while flipping pancakes at honors events, and lived and worked with future scientists and economists. From the people I met at a and and Honors 100 to the people I ran into in the Honor Suite or the Honors LC. Each interaction I had with the honors community pushed me to develop new perspectives, giving me a chance to grow. Our community came together because of the contributions that each of us made. The knowledge and experiences that each of us brought impacted those around us. We used our collective strengths to push each other to view challenges from different perspectives and create unlikely connections to broaden our thinking. Well, although we aren't together in person for the celebration, the memories and community we have created these last few years will always be with us. We are graduating together with a common goal, a commitment to make positive change. From our class projects to run-ins at the honor suite, our shared experiences are what bring us together, not only today, but in the future as well. Regardless of what lies in our future, we are and will always be Huskies together. Thank you for all the amazing memories we made together. And once again, congratulations, class of 2021.
throughout my time at UW, I've led a lot of info sessions helping to introduce new students to UW Honors. And one of the sentiments that comes up overwhelmingly when these students ask what's the best part of honors is our community. I love in honors how students get to connect with each other through classes and the honors lounge and this year on Zoom. We encourage each other's passion, diversity and growth. And we've formed a place where curiosity is celebrated and effort gets to be exercised and rewarded. And another huge part of our honors community that makes it what it is, is our staff. Throughout my time at UW, honors professors have facilitated all sorts of memorable moments, such as a field trip to Microsoft to learn about uh, career opportunities for humanities students in tech and touring the Halo video game museum I didn't even know existed, um, playing in-class Jeopardy to win friends chocolates, and visiting the UW planetarium, playing improv games there, and then getting to lean back and gaze up at the stars. Our teachers have gone above and beyond this year to transition into online learning and still ensure virtual classrooms are the same welcoming, inclusive, and thought-provoking environments that they were when we could all still gather in Mary Gates Hall. We even have a special award, the Honors Excellence in Teaching Award, as a means to recognize all that these staff and faculty provide to our community. And this year's recipient, who I happen to have nominated, works hard to make sure his classroom matches the research he does full of encouragement and he incorporates student thoughts and perspective into his lectures wherever he can. Through his structure of student working groups in class, I've gotten to enjoy collaborating and bonding with other students in a manner that I scarcely have during the pandemic so far. He shows chickens on his PowerPoint slides and encourages pet participation in class and he's managed to do all of this this year on the sleep deprived brain of a brand new parent. I am really excited to get to officially present this year's Honors Excellence in Teaching Award to Professor Jacob Cooper. Hi, I'm Jake Cooper. I'm in the biology department, but I teach with honors and I love it. Three things. Number one, you're graduating. Congratulations. Uh, graduations are in my top three favorite things to celebrate because you've worked hard, you've accomplished a lot, and you've demonstrated resilience and grace and scholarly expertise and personal growth and a tremendous amount of work. And today your accomplishment is being acknowledged and celebrated, and that's how life should work. So congratulations. Number two, you haven't just graduated, you've graduated with interdisciplinary honors. So an instructor's point of view of what interdisciplinary honors is. We get calls for proposals, and the calls for classes are specifically cross-disciplinary, experiential, and critically reflective courses. These are courses that are meaningful, but do not fit into standard departmental curricula. So there is no, you have to learn A, B, and C so that you can become a biology major, so that you can become an English major. In, in honors courses, you don't have to learn the material. Uh, there, there won't be a test, or the test is to, to use scholarship to influence our relationships to each other and to the world. And that kind of class only works because you put in the effort, because you care and bring your passions and put in more than what is required because you bring something to the class that isn't on a syllabus. You bring yourself and your passions. And that's probably a metaphor for how we should all engage with the world. I think a distinguishing feature of honor students is that you really understand and internalize that learning is not about grades. It's about our engagement with our society and our world and ourselves. Lastly, you've graduated, you've graduated with honors, and you are graduating during COVID, right? It's the light at the end of the tunnel, but you're probably watching this at home. Uh, I'm sitting here on my knees in my own house with this chair tower I've kind of made. We are figuring things out. COVID is many things including isolating, including logistically challenging, including low-level demotivating, it's been a real challenge. And despite this, you have finished your college career, you have brought your presence to classrooms, and you have personally, and I'm sure I speak on behalf of many instructors, helped me stay connected to a community of learning during the last year. So thank you. Thank you for your work. Uh, thank you for your passions, and most of all, congratulations. You, you've done a huge thing, and you've done it so well.
So mazel tov, uh, good luck, and congrats. Dear graduating seniors, first, I would like to add my congratulations. What a momentous, strange ending to your time at the UW. As your portfolio capstone instructor and associate director of the honors program, it has been a privilege to be part of this journey with you. Seniors, you know well this Rothko-esque colored wall behind me from our weekly seminar, where you spent a lot of time reflecting and crafting a narrative to share your story and to reimagine the future. I hope this seminar and the honors program has been a space to listen and ask questions and share stories, be vulnerable, get real. We are a community here and we need each other as we grapple with understanding the displacement and replacement of our future goals and dreams. Reflection takes courage individual strength, and people to lean on. Personal reflection first, then reflecting out to the larger community takes humility. And sometimes it takes allowing the outer community to touch you and puzzle you, and perhaps to scare you, to move you into deeper process. We talk a lot about reflection in the honors program. We talk a lot about why words matter, why action matters, why staying engaged, respectful, kind, and connected matters. These are not just words that lose their meaning after being heard again and said again and again. They deepen with direct action, side by side with each other's support. We ask, what is my purpose? How have I changed? What can I do better? How do I courageously go into spaces of discomfort to learn and grow? and to acknowledge that rest and restorative time is needed in order for us to go forward in productive growth and action. I've seen how you have leaned into the hard, seemingly contradictory questions, those with no ready answers, no easy way out. As you have heard many times at the UW, the questions are key. Being brave enough to face the hard task of figuring out where we go from here, keeping an open mind and open heart that work together, not expecting easy answers, not expecting any answers at all, perhaps, but often your reflections, opening up more questions and exposing more unknowns. Well, I congratulate you. This is a goal of education. To be educated is to allow for the unknowns to gather into a perfect storm that activates being part of a greater good and a commitment to lifelong learning. I've also witnessed your groundedness, resilience, and honesty. Each of you has impressed me with reflections that illustrate depth and individual beauty, your angst, bumps in the road, and change of plans and uncertainties, and those questions that are yet unanswered. I can't resist adding a few more of your voices to the lovely speeches by Arwa, Sid, and Zoe. In your own words. As I try to make sense of my past four years, it is tempting to knit, tuck, and hem that which does not produce a satisfying, straightforward arc. Such narratives could map fairly well onto my time at the UW, but they wouldn't feel quite honest. My time at the UW was not neat, and that's how I want to remember it, lumps and all. There's something comforting about knowing things don't have to go right or make sense to fit cleanly or fit cleanly. Life happens, and it's up to us to live it meaningfully. The Honors Program pushes you to rethink many of the societal systems we have accepted over the years, including prison systems, immigration, welfare, democracy, and much more. Without these experiences, I would be trapped in the field of STEM with no real knowledge of the greater implications of much of my work. Now I see that through these years, I have persistently sought to answer difficult questions. How can I use my actions, privilege, and abilities to make a positive impact on my surroundings while living a good life? What kind of world do I live in and where does my understanding of it come from? As I move on to the next stage of my life, I hope to continue facing these questions with flexibility and new approaches while remembering the lessons and tools I have gained on the, along the way. I used to rely only on other people, 
and external factors to judge my own worth. And after these years, I really realize that I am worth whatever worth I assign to myself. I am a small piece of everything that I care about, and that is a good thing. Seniors, you have inspired me and moved me to tears through your words and through your kind actions toward each other and your commitment to persisting in the process, doing the hard, honest work of knowing yourself, understanding your capacities for making the world a better place, and for the gratitude you express to those who helped you along the way, family, friends, mentors, peers. Know you are respected and admired and that we care about each of you. We cared about you as a wide-eyed freshman, that is a, then as a sophomore gaining confidence and vision, and as a junior with more certain footing, and then suddenly, suddenly a loss of footing last March, then your final year with all of the shakiness combined with new solid ground. We care and we will be here for you in the future. I leave you with one more simple yet sanguine senior reflection. I think in the deep down, we have an immense amount of individual individuality, but also commonality. And only when I can truly get to be real and honest to myself, I can start channeling my awareness and energy to my surroundings to care for others. I want to embody the sense of loving others in the most genuine and tender way, leaving wherever I go in a more positive state than when I first arrived. Graduates, you will always have a special place in the history and future of the honors program. My heartfelt congratulations to each of you on your accomplishments and deep gratitude for making this community more authentic and heart forward. <laughs>